Hey everybody, this is a remake of my Python calculator program for absolute beginners. All you need to know to complete this exercise is just if statements and how they work. So let's get started. For this exercise, a user is going to select an arithmetic operator. Operator equals input. We will ask the user to enter an operator. This will be plus for addition, minus for subtraction, asterisk for multiplication, and a forward slash for division. You could enter more than this, but I don't want to make this exercise too complicated. We will create a variable of num1 to contain our first number. Let's say we would like to add two numbers together. What is the first number going to be? Enter the first number. And let's do this with the second number. Num2, enter the second number. Let me show you something. I'm going to add num1 and num2 together. num1 plus num2. We'll do a test run. Enter an operator. I would like to use addition. Enter the first number, 10 and 11. Well, the result is 1011. When we accept user input, they are string data types. What we've ended up doing is string concatenation. We've concatenated the string of 11 to 10. That's why we ended up with 1011. We'll have to convert these two strings to be floating point numbers by typecasting them as a float. So enclose your input functions with a typecast a float. And now we should be able to add those two numbers together. So let's add 10 and 11, and we get 21.0. Depending on the operator that the user selects, we'll use some if statements to determine that. We will check if our operator variable is equal to a character of plus. And for now, I'll write pass as a placeholder. We'll get back to this later. Else if our operator is equal to minus we will use subtraction. And for now, I'll write pass. Else if operator is equal to an asterisk for multiplication, we will multiply. Else if our operator is equal to a forward slash for division, we will divide. If our operator is addition, let's create a variable of result. Result equals num1 plus num2 for subtraction, it's going to be num1 minus num2. Multiplication would be num1 times num2. Then division would be num1 divided by num2. Then we just have to print the result. Print our result. Be sure to do this with each of the else if statements as well. And let's see what we have. Let's add 5.5 plus 6.9. That gives us 12.4. Let's subtract 420 minus 0 0.69. That gives us 419.31. Let's test multiplication. Multiply 3.14 times 3.14, which gives us 9.8596 then division. Let's divide 69 by 13. And that gives us a really long number. So you could round a number if you would like. We would enclose our result within the round function. And we'll just update each of these print statements. This will round to the nearest whole integer. So let's divide 420 by 13. Let's say that we would like three digits after the decimal. Within the round function, we could add comma three for three decimal places. Enter an operator, let's use division. Divide 420 by 69. So that gives me 6.087. So we can round to a given digit after a decimal. In this case, three places. What if somebody types in an operator that doesn't exist, like the word pizza? Then I will divide two numbers. 
Well, let's add an else statement. If somebody selects some input that is invalid, let's let them know. I'll use an F string. Let's say that the operator that the user has selected is not valid. And let's try this again. Enter an operator, pizza. Enter the first number, 420 and 69. Pizza is not valid. Let's say is not a valid operator instead. That makes more sense. Pizza will be my operator. First number is 420, second number is 69. Pizza is not a valid operator. All right, everybody, so that is a very simple Python calculator program you can make as a beginner.